So I just got back from a skiing trip up in uh, the Cascades here in Washington. And I've had this case for about a year now and I figured it's like, it's really about time that I review it. Now that I've had some time with it, it's out, semi-packed. I have a few more things in here that I'm unpacking so I can kind of show that a bit. And I can just talk about this and kind of my thoughts and what I think about it. So this is what you would consider a checked luggage bag. So this is about the maximum size you can carry for check the luggage in most airlines. There are some differences among airlines, but uh, this is kind of the standard size for most check the luggage, uh, as far as like being the maximum uh, size you get for a check the luggage bag. So I bought this because I needed something last year when I was going to Alaska uh, that I could throw my snowshoes in and all our other hiking gear when we we're flying out there. Um, I generally only use carry-ons when I go into airplanes, and this is like the first check the luggage I've ever had. But I wanted something that was rugged, that wouldn't be torn. If you have snowshoes, you know they kind of have like really sharp little points and metal and jagged stuff on them that could easily rip into like a soft uh, piece of luggage. So that was the first thing I was thinking about. But as I thought about it more, I also wanted something that I could throw my laptops, electronics in, all this other stuff that can't get wet. And I could pack it in here and then throw this whole thing in the back of my truck. So I go on road trips pretty often from Seattle to LA and it would be nice if I didn't have to store all those electronics inside the cab of the car. And I could just throw them in here and then throw it in the, uh, the bed of the truck and not worry about it getting wet. Or if I was like dragging it through the airport, down the sidewalk, through the street here in Seattle or anything like that while I'm trying to get to or from places, uh, it would stay dry as I'm dragging it through the rain and wet weather. So that's kind of my motivation here. As far as why I went with this orange, I went with the orange because I wanted something really visible, so like something that I can easily see when I'm getting off the airplane trying to pick it up from the check leg, luggage carousel thing. Uh, this is extremely visible, it's very easy to find. And I took this to Italy last year, they lost my bag, and I went out to the Florence airport. There was a huge pile of like hundreds of bags in the lost luggage area. I told them that I was missing my bag. They were pretty much kind of dismissive saying like, we're not gonna be able to find it in this like huge pile. It's gonna take a while. You're just gonna have to wait. And I told them, please just go look. It's a bright orange bag. Uh, it'll be very obvious if it's there. And they went back, like one minute later, they came back and they found the bag because this is the only giant orange piece of luggage that uh, was in there lost and found. So that's why I went with the orange. I don't think I would go with such a bright, crazy color maybe for my carry-on, but for my check of luggage, I like it to be very visible so it's easy to find. Uh, there are, before I go into it, so this is the Pelican Air, this is the 16, let's see here, I have some notes. This is the uh, 1615 Air case. Uh, there is another one called the Air 1615 Air travel case. Those are two different bags, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at these bags. Uh, the Air travel has built-in TSA locks. This does not have any built-in locks, but it has like these little loops here that you can plug, like a normal little lock through and lock it so when i'm traveling i just put a regular travel lock through these little holes uh, but the air travel one has the built-in uh, besides that it has a built-in like organization system and it also comes with some packing cubes if you follow the channel you know i don't really like built-in things or anything like that i like everything to be modular where i can move it and reuse it so i was not really interested in having some kind of like fancy organization system some packing cubes or anything like that. I just wanted a big empty case that I can switch around and I can use it for my needs as I, whatever kind of trip I'm taking. So recently we're skiing. I wasn't really using this for gear. I was just using it for clothes. So I had these Amazon packing cubes. They're about 20 bucks and they fit perfectly in here. You can load them up and it was great. And if you don't buy the air travel one, the air travel one is about 500 and $25 compared to this one's about 350 so you're paying almost $200 just for a little bit of like built-in organization and I think that's unnecessary you get the travel locks but also I prefer not to have that so that's why I went with the just the regular air you're saving a lot of money and it's a lot more flexible with being more modular the air travel I think you can remove all the internal stuff but just more things to think about and worry about and you just I, I like having just this big open giant case to work with. There is for the air travel, you have an option, not the air travel, just the regular air, this one. You have an option of getting it with foam so you can customize it and have like a padded foam 
thing set up inside, but that's like four hundred and five dollars. So I preferred. I, I had no use for that foam, so I just saved the fifty bucks and just get this completely empty case. So let's go through a couple of features here now. There's a few things I really like about this luggage. So I'll go through the things I like. These clips are very, very satisfying. I don't really, can't really quantify that. It's more of a subjective thing, but there's this dual thing. So you go down, you press it, it locks, but to pull it open, you can't just pull the switches, which is by design, because you don't want this going through the airport, getting caught on something while it's going through all those kind of trams and tracks and everything and getting it opened. So you have to press it in and then open it. So it's kind of a two-step process to unlatching this. And it just, they feel really nice. But most of the things on this case feel really well built and rugged. These handles feel extremely tough. They lock down as well. There's a handle here. So on three sides here on the ends. And there is nothing on this side, but there is a rolling handle over here. So you can slide out and kind of roll your luggage. I'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, this is kind of, I have one problem with this, which is kind of a con for me, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, besides that, you do have a little built-in area for a business card, so you could throw in your luggage tag right there. And it's nice that it's kind of up against the bag and can't get caught at anything. And it's unlikely to get ripped off while you're at the airport. And that can fit into multiple places, so it's easily movable. So you just open this up. Once that's open, you can slide this out and you can also just put it on the side of the bag if you have like a preference. It's nice they thought of all these little things like that because there was really, they didn't have to do that, but they gave you that option, which is nice. Uh, a lot of water, so this is a waterproof case, so you can go ahead and throw it in the, in a lake or a river or something like that with all the gear in it. I don't know the exact waterproof rating, but I'll put a link in the description to the this product so you can actually look into those specs if you're really interested in the exact waterproof rating for this. But it has an automatic uh, pressure relief valve. And some of these other hard case companies have these valves, but they're not automatic. So you have to like fiddle with them and things to actually get them to release the pressure or be completely airtight. This one's automatic, which is nice when you're going through like mountain passes and changing elevation or on an airplane it kind of equalizes the pressure within the case and outside and it's not something you have to manually handle. This case is also made in the United States which is a big pro and that's something I try to uh, look for when I'm buying any type of product. Uh, you don't always have that option and you're not really paying a huge premium like usual when you're buying American made stuff. This is an expensive case but it's not that much more expensive than uh, comparable companies that are not made in the United States. So that's nice they're not charging that huge US made premium on this. In addition, everything here is like very easily replaceable and repairable. Uh, so these are just normal Phillips screws and you can unscrew this. And I believe this whole handle system is used between all the different air cases. So if this breaks or something, it seems like you could just easily unscrew it, order a replacement and uh, put it back together. Same goes for the wheels, uh, just normal Phillips head screws. If there's some issue with your wheels, you can open that up and potentially replace them. Uh, these wheels are kind of cheap and noisy, so that's kind of a con for this case. Like you, you can hear how, how loud that is. They don't feel all that nice. They are durable and tough, but you know, some of the nicer like luxury bags are really smooth. Like these things just, they'll just glide uh, silently. And that's not the case with uh, this case, but you're not really buying this to be smooth and quiet and really refined. So, yeah, these are all the things I kind of like about the case. I will talk about some of the things that annoy me, so let me move you over here. Like I mentioned earlier, I had a bit of a problem with the handle. So when you're walking through the airport, you can kind of just drag it behind you like this, but it hits your leg as you're walking, which is kind of annoying. So you're forced to use this handle most of the time. Uh, the problem is I'm about five, Let's see, I'm about 5'8", and for me, this is like sticking out really far when you're walking, so it takes up like, when this is fully extended, it's really far behind you, and while your leg's not hitting it while you're walking, 
I would prefer if they had an option where it's like you can adjust it. So this is really, it's just either in or it's all the way out. If they had like an option to just like, if they just put a little slit in the plastic here, so like I had another midway option, that would be a lot nicer so it's not sticking out so far while I'm walking through the airport and it works for different, different heights. If you're a taller person, if you're like over six foot, that's not as big of a deal since it'll be higher, but for someone of my height, uh, this fully extended one is kind of inconvenient. But that's that's really the only con I have with the bag. It's been like a pretty amazing case, and I would highly recommend it for anybody that's kind of looking for an outdoor case that has some water resistance to it and just a good all-around checked luggage bag. I typically use like a nicer luxury case when I'm in my carry-on just because I don't want this big, <laughs> bright, distracting luggage while I'm walking to the airport and everything. But for check luggage, for just trying to be practical and kind of utilitarian, this is like the go-to case I would think for anybody that's looking for something like that. I will say if you're really just trying to maximize space, this might not be the best option. Soft luggage typically expands and you can actually just pack in a little bit more, even beyond the normal uh, standard sizes for checked luggage. So you can overpack it and it, since it's soft, it expands. You can't do that with this. So you're not gonna be able to carry quite as much as like a fully stuffed up soft luggage, but you don't get the protection that you have with this with soft luggage. So there's that trade off to think about, but that's, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I really like this. Um, I'll have links to this bag and then the air travel and all the different variations of this uh, that I talked about in the description. So I hope everybody's doing well and I'll see you out there.